Let me see what she got to say, y'all. I have something I wanted to say. But I confess I am afraid of how you will react. I am reluctant to put that to the test. But it is necessary that we are honest with each other. You told me that you believe in going it alone, as you put it. But we have traveled together for a while now. I feel I must honor that time with the truth. The little I have spoken of my history has been nothing but truth. I worked with smugglers. I have caused my share of pain and suffering. What I have left out until now is that all of that was done on behalf of House Varun, my people, my family. They have retreated from open relations with the United Colonies and the Free Star Collective, but they still exist. I was born in the great city of Dazra, and raised with the teachings of Jinan Varun. I underwent the rite of Krajar when I came of age. I am of the promised, those who know the truth of the great serpent and his inevitable return. I appreciate that. But it is still important that you know. Several years ago, I intercepted requests from Constellation to access Varun's space, speaking only of exploration. I was sent to infiltrate Constellation, posing as a former smuggler looking for a new purpose in life. That was the intent. Yes, the reality is more complicated. You're a liar. Several weeks after I arrived, I attempted to access secure records within Constellation's archives. Vladimir and Sarah were waiting for me. I had no idea what to think. I was horrified. My failure would be reported to the High Council, and the penalty would be severe. You? are now the third person within Constellation to know. You and I have spent so much time together, it has been increasingly difficult to keep this from you. And I am sorry for that. Telling you this violates so many of the orders I was given, but it was the right thing to do. I can feel that. You have no idea what a relief that is. Thank you for trusting me. President Abeyo was kind enough to give me a few files to peruse. Quite the series of accomplishments you've managed. But now you face a foe unlike any other. An invisible enemy lurking in the shadows. You're going to need all the help you can get, which is why I hoped we could speak. Do you know who I am? I'm Francois Fanon, but most know me as Victus. I was an admiral during the Colony War, one of its great villains, if you believe the slates. I was to be executed for my crimes. But the previous 
this regime deemed me too valuable to simply discard. So they put me here, a sacrifice on the altar of peace. Even my death served the colonies. Very astute. That's my daughter. My progeny. You've been working alongside. Has she shared with you the nature of our little family? Should be able to help you find our man. 